great band. Great band. Sorry. Yes, I say, great band. Steve Martin is here tonight. Steve has a bizarre sense of humor. Yes. He knocks me out. He'll be forming at the Troubadour here in Los Angeles tomorrow night through Sunday. And then he's going to be appearing at the Golden Bear in Huntington Beach, California on Monday and Tuesday. Would you welcome back Steve Martin? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, be starting in just a few moments. Um, just waiting for the drugs to take effect, and then. Uh... Okay, there we go. Now, um, I'm kind of excited tonight. I have a book coming out, and I'm pretty proud of it. It's um, psychological work. It's called How to Get Along with Everyone. Um, I didn't work on it alone. I worked with this uh, other jerk ex friend of mine, and um... <laughs> so I hope you get that. But. Uh... That's it. No, seriously, I do have a book coming out. It's um, titled, uh, How I Turned a Million in Real Estate into $25 in Cash. So, uh, I hope you get that, so. We ready now? Okay, let's go. You know. I kind of think uh, comedy should be based on uh, real experience, so. Right now, I'd like to do a little thing that happened to me titled, the day the dopes came over. I was sitting at home, peeking through the blinds at my neighbor's wife, <laughs> minding my own business, when I heard a knock at the door. Who's there? I shouted. We don't know. <laughs> I knew immediately that the dopes had come over. I opened the door and invited them in. Glad to have company, even if they were a bunch of dopes. Well, what brings you by this way? Yup. <laughs> Would you like some coffee? No thanks, I think I'll just sit here and suck on this table. <laughs> he clamped his lips firmly around the table, but still listened intently to the rest of our conversation. Gall, said one dope. How long have we been here? Oh, about two minutes. Gall, we should have left hours ago. <laughs> and they packed up some of my things and lumbered out. <laughs> Goodbye, dopes, I shouted. And the dopes turned and shouted back. Goodbye, you big stupid idiot. And now it's time for... a movie review. The Hindenburg. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> am I on yet? I am. Okay, then I'm gonna keep going. Right. Let's get going now. Hey! <laughs> you people are weird. <laughs> Okay, you know, folks, I'm kind of interested in magic, and um, you always see these magicians come out and they do these production tricks, you know, but they always have on these big coats and everything, and you know pretty much where it's coming from. But uh, I'm uh, gonna do a trick tonight that uh, kind of gets around that problem. I picked this up, I was in Egypt uh, this morning, and uh, I learned this, <laughs> I learned this trick, and uh, I'd like to do it for you now. So here we go. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go. Hey! <clears throat> Hit it! Perfect. All right. Okay, here we go. You still on? <laughs> no problem on that. All right. Here we go. Okay. Pretty good.
good tan, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm... I've been working on this all summer, boy. <laughs> Cost me plenty to get it, but I'm pretty proud. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it funny how it's okay to take off your pants if you have on funny underwear? <laughs> if I had regular underwear on, people would go, oh, no. <laughs> funny underwear, they go, oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Right back following his brief intermission as soon as Steve gets ready. We are back. Steve is getting dressed. Yes, put on his shoes. Yeah. I see you all over the place. You're working every yeah. place in television, yeah, personal appearance, really concerts, nightclubs. Johnny, uh, I hope this doesn't offend you, but do you smell like a hyena or, or am I just. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't going to say anything. I thought it was. Uh... <laughs> thought it was me. Yeah. Animals do have a tendency to, uh... <sighs> what, what well, is... listen, okay, I want to explain this. Uh, I thought this would be an interesting thing to do on the Tonight Show, which we're on now. Uh, when you're in show business, you have to have an answering service. And I, because you're out of town all the time, and co calls are constantly coming in for work and things like that, so you have to have an answering service, but the ones that you hire for like $35 a month are yeah. really poor. You know, they, you call them, they go, hold, wait, hold. So you can't understand. So I bought a telephone answering machine that answers your phone. And this is a little beeper. I see. And you play this into the phone and it retrieves your calls. And you can leave a, it's a recording. You can leave a little recording and with a little joke if you want, which I have on mine. <laughs> and uh, a little humor when people call. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then they can leave a recorded message. So I thought it'd be interesting to do it on The Tonight Show. I haven't been home for like two weeks, so there should so be you messages. you actually call them? Uh, yeah. To call them up here on the show and get the messages. Well, I didn't know what this so was. That's why I saw we it, and I didn't this know. Up. All right. And it, I thought it'd be interesting to, for the people to... We checked it out before, and somebody yeah. said we, the phone company could put a line in. Yeah. I thought it'd be interesting for people to hear what a professional comedian in show business, the kind of messages that they get. So let's give, so we'll give them a call. Ready? Now, the first thing you'll hear is uh, the recorded message, which is me, and then I beep this, and you'll hear it rewind, and then the messages will play back. Can I, I pencil and paper? Sure. In case I have. I don't know. That's right. You're out. <laughs> In case some work shows yeah. up. Uh... All the messages you right. got. Well, Steve, uh, this is Fred down in the garage. Yeah, we uh, were able to fix that lighter. No problem at all. Uh, cost about eight bucks, I guess. Uh, please call when you get in. Call her. Steve, this is Jimmy Hoffa. Give me a call when you get a chance. <laughs> My cat. Steve, this is Trudy. Don't be embarrassed about the other night. It can happen to any guy. <laughs> Hello, Steve. This is Victoria. Don't be embarrassed about the other night. <laughs> it doesn't mean you're not a man. Talk to you later. Steve, this is 
and Bill. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Steve, sorry to bother you again. This is Ernie uh, down at the garage. You know that uh, cigarette lighter that uh, we fixed? Uh, we have a real problem down here. It's really the whole electrical system of the car. It's going to cost you about $350. Call me right away, will you?